Oh my god, what? We're playing VLR today? Holy shit. <laughs> Holy fuck, VLR. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. Uh, yeah, we're, we're here. Uh, for those who are watching the VOD, because I don't know how this turns out. Uh, we were supposed to play Killer Frequency tonight. That did not happen. So instead, I said, fuck it. We're just going to play more VLR. Hello, Genesis. Hello, everyone who is in chat, who I just talked to like five seconds ago. I will always try to get someone to play your turn to die. I honestly, I should add that to my list because I, uh, I saw like promo pictures for that and that looks pretty good. So I might add that to the list of stuff I should look into. That or like fear and hunger or something. I know I just asked this like five seconds or like five minutes ago, but like, how are we doing today? <laughs> yep, yeah, we're back. We're back because Killer Frequency hates us. So VLR it is. VLR won't throw a hissy fit at me for trying to stream it. So I'm so energy. I'm so low energy and dead and dying. And yeah, honestly, but I have come with more game racks. Oh, absolutely. You might want to be careful with Fear and Hunger, though. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I could stream Fear and Hunger on uh, on Twitch. Paige exploded chocolate donut mix all over herself and head. <laughs> what the fuck? Skull, what the hell happened? Oh my god. I'm doing good. I'm glad you're doing good, Genesis. I'm glad that the vibes are right. Oh my god, right. Holy shit. I guess we're playing VLR. Oh fuck. <laughs> A lot happened. I forgot we're playing VLR. Okay, what happened last time? God, this music is stressful. Uh, We got the Clover ending. It was gruesome as fuck. If you weren't there for that, I seriously go recommend the VOD. Because holy shit, it was horrifying uh and now we're in a route where we had to betray luna and that is depressing so yeah and we're here with i think clover and alice basic it was an emotional roller coaster fuck yeah it was holy shit an empty plastic container it says basic water <laughs> so does that mean we're supposed to be basic water in here Oh, what do you think this machine is? The bottom part looks like some um, looks like some kind of dolly. It's got this five by five grid of metal boxes. The top is empty though. Yeah. Uh, what remains of Eva Finch? I actually do have that on my list. I do have what remains of Eva Finch. Paranormal Side: The Seven Mysteries Hanjo. I saw that game and I actually forgot to put that on my list. Thank you so much, Kagami, because holy shit, I tried to remember what that game was and I completely forgot. Thank you, thank you. Uh, and I did just add little nightmares to my list. No, but I do, I actually do have What Remains of Edith Finch because that game interests me so much. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I've been trying to avoid the game myself, but I, um, so I can play it, but fair, fair. Paranormal site, I mean, it looks interesting. I saw the, like, like the, I was scrolling through stream, stream, steam, and like exploring around it. It looks fascinating. Paige was dying, like couldn't breathe, almost had tears, I was tired for laughter. Pay for a funeral, which would have not been paid for. <laughs> Fair. Yeah, do you think we're supposed to put something in them? Well, not something, I guess, probably more boxes. Uh, anything in the box? A machine on a dolly. The top roll is... Fractions? No, I think these are pages from a day, um, from a day calendar. Oh! One of my clients and streamers. I watched, played it, and avoided the streams he played it. It was painful, but with how things are getting, I probably get a... Probably won't get a chance to play for myself. Oh no! I, I I do feel that pain though. 
I do feel that pain. Now that I'm able to actually play these games, it's so different, but when I was not able to, Lord. So the black ones are 113, 327, the red ones, 5, 7, and then 730, and then the blue one, the N egg and egg and Skull will send a photo in Discord on what happened. Oh no. I literally stream from my mother's laptop. I can't just start downloading games, even though I wish I could. I feel that. Oh, I feel that so fucking hard. Like, I'm so ready for an upgrade from this freaking laptop. It needs to be done. The blue ones are Saturdays and the red ones are Sundays. Oh, thank God. That. Sun. Just so I remember. <laughs> so the block numbers are weekdays. I mean, it looks like it. Um. Wonder what this thing is. Well, it's full of ice cubes. Do you think maybe it's an ice machine? Or does all I stream the only thing I can do right now without ruining my lap was too much. I'm gonna link to a capture card for Switch games though, so we had to stop playing Nintendo Online so I can play with others. Oh no! I, I I honestly I've been thinking about doing Switch games as well. I do need to find like a capture card as well. Cause that would be so much fun. But oh my god, I feel so bad. Peter Kagami, I almost did it. I almost fucking did it, but I caught myself. It's pretty big for something like that. Maybe it's an industrial ice machine. These look like handles, right? I wonder if you can lift them open. Uh, let me give it a shot. Ugh. No good. It won't even budge. Capture card under $30 or else your girl can't afford it. I hope those exist. Uh, maybe. I have no idea. This appears to be a graphic of some sort. There's a small hole on the right of it. There's a hole here. Looks like there's a diagram to the left of it. Lock and unlock. Do you think they're showing a button here? So pushing this hypothetical button will release the lock. I don't see a button anywhere though. Maybe it's in the hole. I don't think so. Can we put one on then? On one what? Have you even been listening? A button. All right, search for a button. Empty beaker. A button part. Oh. I don't think this is gonna work. You probably need a complete button. Oh, it's just part a button. Okay. That's where the exit is. There's a bunch of cub uh, cubicles on the walls and to be locked though, I can't open them. Don't say anything like a killer. I'm not sure I can open them. These are some pretty impressive shelves. It's a lot of prepackaged food. There's a bunch of instant coffee and boxers of teas. Uh, you mean boxes, right? Ah! <laughs> you see this red button? I think it keeps the wheel in place. So if we push it unlocked, I think we move this thing if we really don't. Oh my God. If we release all the locks. Sounds good. Uh, let's get to it then. Why the hell to put the cabinet on the corner? That's really hard to get to. Agreed. What's this? A binder? It's got a couple of pieces of paper inside. We probably ought to hang on to them, huh? Skull has managed to get egg on herself at the table. Oh no! There's egg everywhere! Oh no, the egg ain't eggin'. Nope, not memo. We want to go to archive. Uh, 
Uh, nutritional balances. All right, all the wheel locks should be released now. Good, let's see if we can move this thing. Okay, let's have a look inside. Aha! There's a binder in here too. And what is some kind of chemical? Let's take that binder first. pH scale. Now the chemicals. pH tester. Aha! Yeah, 10 of them. Um, wow, how many are there, I wonder? 366. What? I said there are 366 star, um, drawers. Wish us luck with the donuts. I'm wishing you all the luck. Donut sounds really good right now. You just looked at them and figured that out? No. I did math. They're divided into four sections, each row is numbered 1 through 14. In other words, there are 14 rows in each, um, in each section. The columns are labeled with letters A through G, so you've got seven columns per section, and four sections means 28 columns total. Now each section has a few spots where there aren't any drawers, right? Well, specifically, there are 26 of those spots. So you just calculate uh, 14 times 28 uh, minus 26. And that's 366? Right. You did all of that in your head? Jesus Christ, I'm stupid, so that math would go right through me. <laughs> of course. It's pretty simple stuff. She's a badass. We've established this. Oh my god, if I fucking do this again. Um, what's this? Hey, this is a calendar, right? Yeah, it looks weird, though. Found the calendar. Wait. Calendar. I think there's something written in the back of it. The day the man was abducted. What? Um, who's the man? Are we the man? The day the man was abducted. Well, okay, I know that's December 25th, right? So, okay, these are obviously, okay, I see what we need to do here. So we need to, Christmas? Yeah, that's my thought. So the 25th is that, it's that one. The shelves are divided into four sections. Additionally, a section. Can we not. Aha! Oh, hey, the screen lit up. Looks like it's designed to turn on when you touch it. I think we need to type in something. Yeah. Okay, let me give it a shot. Aha! The screen's blue now. Do you think it could possibly be it? It's probably the safe password. Oh my god! Did I really just get the safe password that quickly? Holy shit! No, we need to be fast! I can do it. I got really good memory. All I need is a moment. Holy shit! How the f Oh fuck! I didn't write it down. Oh, it's star, star moon. Okay. Yo, Kagami getting pizza. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, pizza sounds so good. Well, 
Did you memorize it? Indeed I did. It's locked away up here. Phew. What a relief. Wow, that was really fast. Okay. Uh, <laughs> fucking sweats. I didn't think I would get that password that quickly. Um. Something in the drawer, huh? I wonder what it is. Aha! Uh -huh. Nice. Oh! Whoa! What are you doing? You broke it! A warm drawer. What? It's warm. So warm. Very warm. There you go. Should be in there pretty good now. Yeah, looks good to me. Well, why don't you go ahead and push it? Push the button. Did you hear that? Yeah, sounds like there's a lock opened. So we can open it? I'd assume so, yes. Hmm. Huh, so it is supposed to open. Oh, it's empty. I wonder why. Looks like we can open it from both sides. See? I think you could do that from the back or front too. Then there's no hinge. It's just one huge lid just sitting on top of the bottom. Hmm. Hey, does it look like there's something inside of that ice cube to you? Yeah, you're right. I wonder if we can get to it. Well, we won't just be grabbing it, that's for sure. This glass is in the way. How about dropping it through that hole? Hole? There's a square hole down here, see? I think you just need to slide the ice cube into it. How? I really have to explain it? Clearly, yes. Fine, just pay attention. I'm definitely paying attention. I'm not paying attention. Uh, you can drag the you can slide the ice cubes by clicking and dragging the mouse or using the arrow keys. The ice cubes into something. Uh, no, you can slide. Fuck. Huh, I'm sure this puzzle won't be a pain in my fucking ass. Fuck. Uh... Fuck. Oh, don't you just love box puzzles? Box puzzles are so much fucking fun. Fuck. Aha! I fucking did it. No. 
I am a genius. <laughs> ah, it worked. Good job, Sigma. Open it up. We should be able to get that ice cube now. Huzzah. Skull hurt herself on the sink. Skull. Um, all right, now put the drawer back in the ice here. It is warm, so it shall melt. Oh, you hear that? It's probably warming up right now. We should probably keep an eye on it. And they proceeded to forget about it. Oh, there's a timer, never mind. Sounds like it's done. Open up and have a look. Ta-da. Hey, look, the ice melts. Ah! Hot! The card is underneath the water. Oh, here it goes. Ah! Are you okay? Uh, just kidding. Dick move. Piece of shit, Sigma. Visitor ID. Okay, visitor ID. Here's what a card slot should look like below the mortar. All right, let's set this baby in. Yeah, go for it. Hey, what's going on? Looks like it's only on now. Why is the screen red? Do you think something's wrong? Wait, it says something. Number of ration boxes insufficient. Oh. Please, res um, please rectify. Cannot verify presence of acidic water vessel. Please rectify. Cannot verify the presence of neutral water vessel. Please rectify. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, what's this thing? Well, it's got a faucet, so... I think it's connected to those water storage things up there. So do you use it to pour water? Yeah, there's a drain in here, too. Oh, yeah, in the middle here. Uh, Sigma? Didn't you think you can use that here? Uh, let's fill the speaker. Huh? Green. What the fuck does that mean? Green is drinking water? Fill this thing. We got the neutral water. Oh, hey, look at that. Uh, the pH chemical worked. It's a sort of yellow green. Well, this is a solution of six. The water that you got from pressing zero was the pH of six. Donut making is going great. Skull says I'm making Tim visit of tiny donuts. Same thing. Tiny mini donuts. Oh, wait. Um, So let's do that. So if this gives a seven, this is six, five, four, three. Wait, six, five, four, three. All right, 
so if we do this, this should give us... The beaker is full of water by pressing the number two. Put the iron and then turn orange. This is a pH of four. Which is our acidic water. Nice. So, and then our basic water is ionized water. So, so that means these are plus threes. Let's just double check. Beaker's full of blue, after the deep blue, each of nine, like ionized alkali water. That's what we wanted, right? Yeah. Let's fill this thing. Nice. And this one. That one. Alright, um, let me... What about in there at wrapper? Under where? Under there! Shut up! <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Kinda hope I would've forgotten about that. Oh lord. So, 113. Oh lord. So 113 is a, E3. So hungry, this pizza needs to be delivered already. I don't even have any more snacks. Oh no! Grab all the snacks, just start grabbing everything. Three twenty-seven. And seven thirty is a one, two, three, four, five, six, and then eleven, eleven, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, one, two, three, four. Oh my god, like a G6. I don't have any. Oh no! Throws money at you. Throws cookies at you. Steal one of. Wait, steal one of their donuts. So, one E. One E3. There, did it work? Look at the shelves. Huh? Not our donuts. The drawers, shelves, whatever you want to call them. Nice. Box of meat rations. Why stealing our donuts? Theft is, uh, food tastes so much better when you steal it.
Huzzah! Look, another one! It just popped out! I have snacks. I am hungry. I have no mouth and I must scream. Box of fish rations. Here we go. Come on, drawer. And the pizza goes take me too long. Patience is a virtue. It will come with time. I believe in it. Um, this one is seven. A. That's four. Looks like there's another one. Soup rations. Like a G6. There we go. Okay, that makes five. Come on, let's do this. Pasta rations. Woo! God, pasta sounds so good right now. Aha! Look at the screen! Yeah. The chart shows the nutrition values that each staff member requires for the next five days. Arrange the order of the rush and the bonus and the match of the values. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna give it a shot. Write this down, or let me, uh... uh let me get this up on another screen so I know what I'm looking at. Uh, here we go. Sorry. Aggressively slamming the dumb pans to get rid of the bubbles. It helps with the frustration as well. So this one's fine. Um, so B needs less of the first thing. Or no. Yeah. Ingredient house. Have food. Stop making me hungry. Uh, 
Oh shit. Okay. Um. Uh, I know C needs needs. Oh, C needs like giga meat, so I'm just gonna give them a bunch of meat. Um. Aha. So we have two. F oh, we got three fish, three pastas, two meats, a salad, and a soup. Uh, what does D need? D needs giga meat. So it needs like that, maybe? Um. Oh, nice! I think of the cinnamon things that you can just put in the oven, you know? Oh yes, cinnamon rolls, fuck yeah. Put those in, those are good snacks. I just sold the shit out of this puzzle. <laughs> Sigma, yes, that's the spirit. Hey, um, aren't you getting a little too excited? Sigma. Yeah, it's kind of freaking me out. They're gonna die. Mm. Um, did you see the screen? Aha! We got moon, star, and a sun. <laughs> you did it! Now we can open the safe. Put them in and eat the snacks after dinner. Yes, that's the spirit. All right, this is the safe. Yeah, it's just like the way in the room. So the first password is for the gold file. Ha! It opened. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Piece of cake. I hate chemistry. <laughs> uh, that's fair. I took a chemistry class, it fucking sucked. It was not fun. Now let's see what we've got. First is a map. It says floor B. Understand it, my grief will around my one smart lab partner. We love relying on the one smart friend. It's great. <laughs> it says floor B. The one we found in the infirmary says floor A. Yeah, so so did the one in the lounge. Then that one made the floor at the top floor, right? I mean, we rode the elevator down to get here. Yeah, you're right. All right, let's keep looking. There's stuff in here. These must be key cards. Um, luckily, my lab partner for Kim was my friend, so I survived. Oh, thank God. We love having someone who's smart and knowing that you like, like, friendship. What? <laughs> uh, then you have to be the cards to the announcer who's talking. Uh, we've got two of them, just like the sun keys. You took one, Clover. Uh huh. Why? Well, you're solo, right? Alice and I only need one. Oh, right. Got it. Now all that we've got left is a key. Is that the exit key? Yeah, it must be. This is our ticket out of here. Fuck yeah. Let's go. Me and my lab group are all friends, although I don't talk to Kyle that often. I hang out and rely on Emily. <laughs> Honestly, that's fair. The power of friendship. Fuck yeah. Okay, do it. Three, two, one. Fuck yes! Make 
the stream slightly shorter than usual. I'm not sure though. An ambidex gate has been opened. Fucking Dio. I bet my goddamn marbles it's him. 45 minutes remain until ambidex game polling closes. Have I told y'all how much I fucking hate Dio? I hate him so much. I want him in a stupid fucking face to die. <laughs> the gate's been opened. One of the other teams must have done it. Uh, read that as Dio must have done it. But the rest of us aren't even back yet. Well, we can fix that. Come on, let's get moving. Just then. Whoa. Did you just get back? Yes, we did, but... Then the team that opened the AB gate must have been the ones who went through the blue door. That would be Luna, Bai, and Dio. Gee, I wonder who. Oh, the old guy does have teeth. Yeah, he does. It's his dentures. Huh? Wait. You guys went through the green door, didn't you? Then why the hell did you come out of the blue one? There's an explanation for that. I promise. Just tell me. Have any of you seen Quark? Motherfucker, Quark is missing. Oh no. Oh no. Quark is missing again. Piece of shit. Oh no. Little Timmy. How'd they lose this kid? He's so small. You just look away for a second and he disappears. Quark? N no, we haven't seen him. Did something happen? He's gone. Gone. On the other side of the green door, we found a room called the treatment center. Okay, so they did find the tre Oh, Lord. They did find the treatment center in this route. Interesting. We found our key cards and left. But on our way out, he just disappeared. Motherfucker. So you went through the blue door to see if he'd gone there? No, that's not it. Look at this map. Aha. His name is Quirk for a reason, I guess. Yeah. Because he's so small. So small. Oh, so you go through the green door in the treatment center. And eventually, you end up at the blue door. It looks like there's a pretty big room in the middle there. What is it? A warehouse similar to the one on floor A. In any event, we've spent some time searching, but have been unable to locate Quark. Ah, shit. Huh. Well, maybe he went back to the other floor already? So small and stupid. That is a possibility. I will return and see. I'm going back through the blue door. Figure I'll take a look at the area Luna and her team were searching. Okay. I'll come with you then. We've got a better chance of finding him if there are two pairs of eyes. Right. Thanks. Sorry about all this. Okay, no, it's fine. I guess there's nothing for it. I'll help look for him. Me too. Then we'll all leave Flory to you guys. Right. Let's go. Come on, Clover. Right behind you. Oh, I love them so much. Tamioji and I headed through the blue door while Alice, Clover, and Kay climbed through the elevator. Mmm, this room again. What is this place? Uh, it looks like a bunch of hazmat suits, probably for protection against viral or chemical agents. Hmm. So these things keep you from getting sick? Yeah, that's the idea. We should ask Luna's group about them. They investigated this room first. Ah, so this is where they were. Hey, there's another room underneath. Well, let's have a look then. Damn. He's not here. Oh, Quark. Where the hell did you go? I should have kept a closer eye on him. If I'd just been watching. Timmy face was drawn, and the knuckles of his fists were, right, uh, were white. He was an old man, but until then I hadn't realized how old. Suddenly he looked very, very tired. 
Don't worry about it. I'm sure we'll find him. Come on, let's go try somewhere else. I put a gentle hand on his shoulder and guided him towards the exit. Oh. Oh. I like these sweet Tamuji and Sigma moments. This is nice. It's better than the last route that we saw those two together. So this is the Flurby warehouse then. It looks like the one of it looks like the other one. It was pretty close. I'll give you that. Couple differences though. Have a look over there. The doors are shining. No way. Chromatics. Last route was bad. Yeah, it was real bad, especially for this pairing in particular. Yeah, seems like it. See over here. They've got a box next to them, just like the ones next to the other doors. Perfect. I guess they're all white doors this time. Uh, we should go tell them. No, first we look for Quark. Yeah, I know. We got to look for Quark, but look, I don't think he's here. Where? Like every time Quark disappears, we don't know where the fuck he went. Like, I'm very interested. What do you say we head back to Flore for now? Maybe somebody else has already found him. Oh, Timmy OG. I think I'm gonna skedaddle though, and I'll watch the VOD for those. Absolutely. Of course, you always know where the VOD is. I don't need to tell you. You know where to find it. Uh, but thank you for stopping by, Kagami. Absolutely. Thank you, thank you. I hope you have a wonderful night. <laughs> All right, let's go. Ah, oh, you beat me just by a split second. <laughs> God, this music is so haunting. Bye, Kagami. Bye bye. Oh, you. Shit stain of my life. What do you want? Dio. Oh, it's just you. Oh, it's just you. It's just you. I'm gonna fucking punch you. I'm guessing you haven't found Quark. Oh, okay, you're looking for him? Thank God. Finally, you're useful for something. I ran into Clover and Alice in the warehouse up on floor A. They told me about Quark and how you're all looking for him. Yeah. Y'all. So he hasn't come back to the warehouse? Nope. Maybe he just went off to ruminate on a solution to this game. Chewing his cut, so to speak. What? Well, that's what ruminants do, isn't it? Hey, this is no time for jokes. You should be out there looking for him, too. Uh, why would I do that? Skull looked over to me to tell Dio's hair reaction, fuck off. <laughs> it is the correct reaction. Tell Dio to go fuck himself. Sounds so boring. Oh my god, Dio, it's a child. Fucking help him. Aren't you worried about him? Why the hell would I be worried about some kid I've never even seen before? Because he's a child. <sighs> That's why. Punches you? I'm gonna fucking... Ugh, I hate him! I hate him so much! What? For all I know, he's Zero Senior. That mention was said to be checked by mods. It was, but don't worry, I allowed it. He could be hiding in some swank little cubby hole, swirling a glass of brandy and gloating. Girl, what? Girl, what? What are you on about, Dio? Oh my god! <sighs> Look at all those fools running around. <laughs> oh my god, please, just punch him. Please, God. It's insane! Yeah, there's- what, there's no way? Are you sure? Nobody knows what Zero looks like. Maybe you're Zero. Maybe you're just a giant piece of shit, huh? He could totally be a kid. I warned you, Tenmyoji. 
I told you it was a bad idea to just swallow everything that little bastard told you. Come on, punch him. Punch him, please. I trust Quark. <laughs> Suit yourself. Just don't come crying to me when it bites you in the ass. Zero punch button. The air grew thick with tension, but before their tempers managed to set it right, Phi burst into the room. Sigma. Good. You've got Tenmyo G and Dio with you. Oh no, what happened? We found something. Come on, all of you. What? Did something happen? Just, you'll understand when you get there, all right? Now come on. What? Uh, where are we going? The crew quarters. Crew quarters. Oh no, is Alice dead again? Fuck. Donuts in the oven, nothing has burned down yet. Woo, progress! Oh God, donut sounds really good right now. I swear to God, if Alice is dead, I'm going to lose my shit. No. What the fuck? Oh my god! Holy shit! What the fuck? What the fuck? <coughs> oh my god! I. What? What? Wait! What the fuck? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! No! Alice! Luna! What the fuck? Oh. I almost spit out my drink. I'm so sorry. Oh my god! What in the world? Oh. Oh my god. Your heart stops. Your bracelet comes off. Well, at least they weren't gonna die in the fucking AB game. There was a roar in my ears. Breathing, heartbeat. But my footsteps sounded muffled, as if I was hearing them through a layer of cotton. I pressed a shaking hand to Alice's neck. Her skin was still warm, but the only pulse I felt was my own. Luna was the same. <laughs> so much happening at once. They're... They're dead. Both of them. By then everyone had arrived, cramming themselves into the small cabin. Nobody spoke. Silence filled the room, flowing into my ears and throat like a cold, brackish water. A chill shuddered its way through my body. I stood there, frozen, staring at them. I'd seen a corpse before when we discovered the old woman, but this was different. The old woman had always been dead, at least to me. But Alice and Luna, I had known. They'd been living, breathing people less than an hour ago. Reality settled around my shoulders like a thick lead blanket, and my chest suddenly felt hollow. Who, who found them? My throat felt dry as I spoke. It was a full minute before someone answered. Clover, I think. When Kay and I ran over, she was just kind of standing there next to the bodies. It was pretty clear they were both dead. I think Clover killed them. <laughs> the thing is, I hate agreeing with Dio because it's fucking Dio. And I know this is such like a diversion move, like totally non plus pulled out of his ass. The problem is that uh, <coughs> I am inclined to believe that maybe it was Clover. I don't know, though. Me? Kill them? You got into a fight with Alice after the AB game, didn't you? It looked like you two knew each other before you ended up here. So maybe you were trying to get her killed. Okay, no, that- we know his reasoning is wrong, but- None of us had any connection to her. 
which means you're the most likely to have a motive for murder. Oh my god, shut up, Dio. You are useless. <laughs> I do not like you. It's easy to see why she would have killed Luna, too. What? Why? She probably caught you offing Alice, so you did her in, too, so she wouldn't rat you out. Dio, shut up. You are not helpful. I hope both sides of Dio's pillow is warm. <laughs> I love that threat. Every time I see that threat, I'm like, that is the move. Stop it, Dio. Well, the AB game is a motive, too. What do you mean? Once someone's dead, they can't vote anymore. That means they'll automatically ally. Well, who benefits from Alice being dead? Who benefits from Alice and Luna being dead? Dio. No, Dio benefits. Phi benefits. I hope it's on fire. <laughs> Hope your pillow's on fire. You know what? I do too. Because I fucking hate him. If your opponent's guaranteed to ally, then that's an easy three points. So Dio is a great, has a great motive. Who was Luna's opponent? Me and Dio. Then that would mean Dio had a motive as well. Exactly. Yep. Alice saw him killing Luna, so he had to shut her up. Why the hell would I do something like that? Pay attention next time. Yeah. Fucking idiot. No, can I? I need to stop doing that. But I just, I hate Dio. You do it to get an advantage in the next round of the AP game. Yeah. What kind of cold-hearted bastard kills a lady for a few points? You! You are the cold-hearted bastard. You are the piece of shit, the shit stain. Like, horrible person. It's you. You are the person. I'm more interested in Alice's condition than in her killer's motives. Dying, the mini donuts look like muffins with a hole in the bottom. <laughs> oh my god, tiny mini, uh, like tiny muffins, yes. I am as well. What do you mean of her condition? Her clothes are barely disturbed. If it weren't for the knife and, uh, blood, she would look as if she was sleeping. Someone is making ramen downstairs, and it smells so good. Dough muffins. <laughs> I'm writing that down for a completely different reason. But, oh my god, that is a genius. That is... Yes. <laughs> Dough muffins. I almost wonder if... This is another suicide kill. I'm going to share the photo on Discord. Absolutely. Yeah, you're right. Well, maybe she was Dufins. just killed while she was sleeping. Muff nuts! Muff nuts are pretty good, too, honestly. Dofins. I am writing this down for completely nonsensical reason, but yes. If she wanted to take a nap, why sit on the floor when there's a bed nearby? This is a Radical Six suicide attempt again, isn't it? That is a little strange, but a better question is, would she really be sleeping right now anyway? Hardly seems like a time for a nap. Yeah. She was probably put to sleep then. What? How? Oh, come on. How did Zero Senior knock all of us out? With Soparil? Oh, yeah, that white gas. So you're suggesting that Zero Senior knocked them out with the white gas, then killed them both? Yeah. No. Oh my god, you're a fucking idiot, Dio. However it happened, one of the people in this room did it. Well, maybe not one of the people in this room. I forgot about somebody, didn't I? Are you talking about Quark? Oh my god, stop insinuating that the child is a murderer. I know we have said it here as a joke. But come the fuck on. He disappears and then suddenly there's a murder? I don't know about you, but that seems pretty suspicious to me. Nah, that's crazy. Quark couldn't have done this. This does not have Quark written all over it. Oh my god, I love them. Oh my god, they are like little mini muffins with holes in the bottom. Yes! You understand that these are amazing. These are, in fact, uh, a great invention. You can put, like, icing in the middle. All right, then why'd he disappear? 
There must have been some kind of accident. Radical Six. Then I might have it backwards. If he wasn't the murderer, maybe he was one of the murdered. Well, that would explain his sudden disappearance, right? You son of a bitch. Bitch slap him. Bitch slap him. Punch the shit out of him, Temio G. Come on. Dio, knock it off. It's going too far. Whoa, whoa. Calm down there, big guy. Don't tell me it never crossed your mind. I just said what you were all thinking. Slap him with a fish. Curse. <laughs> I already said my fear and hunger characters not having a good time. Is it a really horrible time, Genesis? Ten minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Ah, shit. All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically... Ally. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. No, I just keep getting killed. <laughs> so much murder. All right, time to head for the AB rooms, guys. Slap him with the skin Bible. <laughs> Come on, we've got more important things to worry about. Oh, so you're going to abstain, huh? That's some good luck for you, Clover. Sigma was paired with Alice. Sadly, it looks like she won't be able to vote during this round. Oh my god, Dio, shut up! I'm gonna throttle him. If Sigma abstains, then you'll have no one voting against you. Hey, come on, cheer up. This is your chance to escape. Escape? That's right. Right now, your BP's at six. Sigma's saying he won't vote, so if you choose betray... Big donuts are coming out. We are having a crumbly situation here. Also, you forgot the map. Get the map! Clover would get three points, bringing her to nine. Whoa, hold on there. I didn't say anything about not voting. Oh, so you are going to vote? Well, you are, right? How exciting. Sigma should have six BP, just like Clover. That means this next round is a one-on-one -on -one fight. If one of them can trick the other one, they'll have enough BP to get out of here. Can't wait to see who wins. Dio, shut up. You are annoying. <laughs> oh, this is definitely getting interesting. Right. We should get to the Flore A warehouse, guys. Come on. Oh my god. Oh lord. Hey, Clover, can you choose ally? We stuck at six points if we choose Betray. But if we both cooperate, we'll get two points. And then we'll have eight. That means it'll be pretty easy for us to get to the nine in the next round. Clover? Yeah? I said I want you to choose ally. Okay. You'll choose ally too, right? Of course. She gave me a strange sort of absent nod and then turned to shuffle into the closest AB, um, AB room. I wasn't sure if she actually understood me, but given the effect of Alice's death on was having on her, I didn't think there was much else I could have done. I was preparing to enter the AB room on my own when I heard Fi's voice at my elbow and turned. Sigma, we need to talk. Oh, hey Fi. Uh, something up? How are you planning to vote? I was just talking to Clover about that. We were planning to both vote ally. Yeah, I thought so. Huh? Listen to me, Sigma. Because Luna is... Because Luna's not voting in this round. Her vote will default to ally. And you're going to betray. Her opponent is Dio and me. That means we're pretty much guaranteed to have 9 BP by the end of this round. You and Dio are going to choose betray? Luna's only got 1 BP left. But she's not wearing her bracelet anymore. You saw that, right? That means it won't do anything if her BP goes negative. Well, it's not like it can make her any debtor anyway. You have to betray Clover. That's what I feared. <sighs> if you can get to 9 BP, then I'll take you with us. Wait. You mean you're planning to escape? Of course. If you don't come with us, you're going to be stuck here for the rest of your life. Why? 
If you just wait until everyone's got 9 BP. I can't do that. You really think Dio's gonna stick around once he's got enough points to split? Of course he's not, because he's fucking Dio, the shit stain of this earth. You gotta make a choice here. The number 9 door is only gonna open once. If you pick Ally and Clover does too, then you only have 8 points. I promise you Dio's gonna make a break for it as soon as he can. If you want to have any chance of getting out, you need those three points. Now. Sadly, she's right. So if I want to get out, I have to betray Clover. Right. Why are you telling me this? How do I know you won't just tell Clover the same thing? Talk to Clover? I'd have about as much luck talking to a potato right now. Oh, shit. The truth is, I want you to come with me. Why? I just... Know that you're important, somehow. Aww. You just know, huh? Did you tell Kay? He's got six points right now, too, you know? Oh, shit. No, I haven't talked to him. He's playing against Ten Miyoji. Ten Miyoji's only got one point left. So if he chooses ally, he's going to get penalized. Exactly. One minute remains until Abadex game polling closes. Ah, shit. It's almost time. I'm dying again from laughter. Oh no, what happened? Remember what I said. You have to choose Betray. She looked at me in the eye until I nodded and then turned and jogged to her door. Right. Is Clover really going to choose Ally? If she does, then all I have to do is choose Betray and I'm out of here. <laughs> I drew another photo. Also, my dog here who will search the floor. <laughs> oh my god. No, I promise I'd choose ally, so that's what I'm going to do. But but Dio's almost certainly going to have 9 BP after this round. Oh my god, hello Mystica, hello, hello. If he gets out, I'm going to be stuck here forever. Ten seconds remain. Welcome to chat, Until hi hi. Game polling closes. Ah shit. 9, 8, 7, Seven. 6, damn it. What the hell am I supposed to do? Three, two, one. <sighs> I don't like this. I don't like this at all. <sighs> well, I'm so sorry, Clover. This is what you get for last fucking time. <sighs> Vote has been recorded. Please wait. Round two of the Ambidex game has been completed. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Oh, Lordy. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. Unlucky Clover, absolutely. The door ground open, and I stepped out. All around me were the other AB rooms were disgorging their occupants. The fuck? <laughs> Wait! Dio! Vi's voice echoed hollowly across the room. Hollowly across the room. I followed her eyes to the number nine door. Oh, he's already run for it! Into Dio. Dio. No. I shook my head. I had to get that door. I had to get to that door. Oh my god. What are you doing, Dio? No, he's going to try and open it. Damn right I am. But the results! <laughs> like I need to wait for that. Oh, Dio's BP was at six. His opponent was Luna. And she is, well, she is as she is. She is as she is. Kay, oh my god. 
her vote would have defaulted to ally. Yeah, which made her extremely easy to just boop. All he had to do was pick betray. And he'd have nine points, right? Excellent answer. I hope you remember to show your work. But you're a whore, Dio, an absolute whore. I was Dio's partner. And her BP was the same as Dio's. That means she has nine now as well. Exactly. It was nine the moment we stepped out of the AB room. Why? Why didn't you stop Dio from choosing Betray? You got the wrong idea, old man. This wasn't just my decision. We both decided to vote this way. Is that true? Yeah, I didn't have a choice. You didn't? Because of you, Luna's BP is negative one. So? What, she's gonna die again? Zero can pump all the poison he wants into her. It's not gonna make a difference now. Oh God, Dio, shut up! You're awful! Besides, her bracelet's already fallen off. I'm going to strangle Dio in a non-sexy, non-hot way. I'm just going to murder him. You- Then why did you try and stop Dio, Fi? I believe I heard you cry out, wait, as he headed toward the number nine door. Are you planning to wait for the rest of us? Did you just want to get your BP up to nine to reduce your own risk? Sorry, but no. The only reason I stopped Dio is because I needed to know what someone else voted. Ah ha ha ha, twirls hair, who could that be? Someone else? But that would be... Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Oh no. Please direct your attention to the results screen. Oh no. Betray ally. Ally ally. Betray ally. Oh no! Well, Tamiyaji's not dead. Alice is already dead. Poor Luna. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> this ki this timeline is not kind to her. Holy shit. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Hey, but we have 9 BP now. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. That... no. Clover... Clover, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you betrayed me, Sigma. Clover! Why? I... What other choice did I have? To keep your promise, you jerk! <sighs> Liar! Oh! <laughs> oh my god! You're a coward! Well, he is, yeah. Oh, shit. You don't care about anybody but yourself! All you wanted was to get out of here! You're horrible! I hate you! Oh my god. This is very hard to listen to after that last route. And also after just playing 999. This is diff this is hard to listen to. This is very hard to listen to. Oh my god, Clover. <laughs> Wait a minute. Just listen to me for a second. Whatever I did, Fio and D Ugh, Fio, oh my god, no, that is not it. That is not the mood. Uh Dio and Fi were gonna get nine BP. The door would have opened whether I had nine points or not. So means is that you picked betray because you didn't want to get left behind no that's not it how can we know if they would go get help once we uh, once they escaped i trust fi but dio is different yeah because fuck dio everybody fucking hates dio in this household rightfully so i didn't know what dio might do if i do defy it once they were through the door what if he turned out to be zero senior so I figured if they were going to escape anyway, I should go with them and make sure they- Is that it? Is that your excuse? It is a shit excuse, Sigma. It is a really shitty excuse. Liar! Liar! You're just like Dio! You're a coward! 
Also, fuck you for comparing me to Dio. How fucking dare you? <sighs> fuck you, Clover. No kidding. <laughs> this is, oh my god. Whatever. Oh, Clover. Just fine. I was stupid to trust you. <laughs> Clover, I... This is... This is fucked. This is fucked. Clover, oh my god. Clover just lost her best friend and then was lied to and I was going to get stuck here for the rest of her life in the span of like less than an hour. This is a bad situation. This is bad. I heard a clang and turned. For fuck's sake, Dio. Can you fucking wait? Oh my god. Sorry. I went ahead and opened it. Piece of shit. No. I have plenty of time to watch soaps on the outside. So I didn't feel like I needed to stick around to see how this little drama played out. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him. Dio. Dio. All right, lady and gentlemen. Shall we? <laughs> Skill issues. <laughs> so Dio is still being a dick. Absolutely. This is Dio we're talking about. Stab Why him. So serious. This really isn't the time for hesitation. If I had that knife that is stuck in Alice right now, I'd fucking stab him. I'd stab him right here, right now. You both crossed the line you weren't supposed to cross. You betrayed your friends. What the fuck does that make you, bitch? Am I right? I'm right. You don't value them as friends. What the fuck are you? You're not a circus fuck. You're not. I don't know what you are, but you're not that. But you didn't have a choice, did you? You had to survive. Is that your excuse? Survival? Isn't that the way an animal thinks, though? Skulls don't have because won't show because your girlfriend is yelling over her oil <laughs> about her big donuts. Oh my god. I saw those donuts, by the way. Those look good. God, I'm just in a sweet mood. Don't get me wrong. I see the logic, but it's kind of animal logic. He's not the clown. He's the entire circus. <laughs> He's the entire goddamn circus indeed. Still, you made your bed. Now you gotta lie in it. So what the fuck are you? This all applies to you, bitch. <laughs> if you're gonna be an animal, be an animal. Own it. So the rabid dog situation that Tenmyoji described is accurate, actually. The losers, the weak, throw them away. That's how nature works, my friends. That's life at its most pure. Punch you him. get me? Now come on, hurry up and... The number nine door has been opened. Ah, shit. It will remain open for nine seconds. Girl, you better run. Bitch, I was running. Well, stay if you want. No skin off my back. I mean, no skin off of my back. Anyway, I'm out. Peace. Wait. God damn it, Dio. Getting really luck. I need to find a safe point. Find the save. Demi, uh, oh my god, Demiomi. Oh, Jesus. Temioji leapt forward. Do you think left and dash right, slipping through Temioji and through the door? Three, two, one, one zero. Girl, you better run, bitch! Bye, the Sigma. The nine door is closing. Oh my god. Let's go, Sigma. <laughs> But shut up. Just do it. I looked at her, slightly confused. Before I could respond, her hand closed around my arm like a vi um, like a vice, and she held me bodily through the open door. Damn, she is a strong tiny woman. Oh my god, we escaped. The number nine door has closed. Shit. This ends 
The Nonary Game. Thank you for your participation. Fuck. Sigma! Phi! Dio! Open up! Open this goddamn door! Oh my god. Tamioju's voice was muffled by the thick steel, but I could still hear his desperation and anger. I tried to ignore it. Oh, shit! Ooh, this is like a jaunty beat. Ooh! I'm sorry. Sigma male. All righty then. Here we are. Well, you sound Is so sure of yourself. Way? Only one way to find out. All right. Well, let's see. Just as Vi had guessed, on the other side of the door was a wide hallway. Unfortunately, it seemed to stop at a dead end. Great! It only took a second to find a familiar looking door on the left side of the hallway. We opened it and stepped inside. Oh. This must be the prep room. Oh, it's the, the PEC. I think I searched this place with Dio and Luna. Well, it's probably just another one that looks like it. You really think that we've been able to get through the something on the other side of the number nine door? Hold up. You know about the one on floor B2? Yeah. Yeah. I visited with the Tamioju when we were looking for Quark. Huh. So, you know that the pressure in here is a lot higher than the pressure outside? What? Oh, you didn't. No, we just searched it. What are you talking about? Didn't I just say what I'm talking about? The air inside this facility is kept at a higher pressure than the air outside. Yeah, because of the virus. Apparently, they're doing it to keep the virus from getting in. Yep, yep. If you're leaving, you have to lower the pressure until it matches what's outside. This room is where you prepare for all of that. See those suits over on the wall? They keep you from getting infected once you're outside. You have to put one on before you can go into the pressure exchange chamber downstairs. How do you know all of that? Luna told me. Oh, Luna. <laughs> oh, my heart. Really? Wait, why did Luna all know all that? Apparently, it was all in a manual she found in a room we searched. Oh. Hmm. Whoa, whoa, wait, go back. You said there's some kind of mysterious virus out there? Well, I wouldn't say it's mysterious. I think it's that Radical Six thing Alice was talking about. Don't quote me on that, though. That sounds bad. Well, we've come this far. We can't turn back now. No, well, we gotta see what's out there. Let's get those suits on and head outside. No argument here. I got a book of enlightenment. Hell yeah, you are enlightened. To what, I don't know. Let's do it. We climbed into the protective suits in silence and headed down to the pressure exchange chamber. I love reusing assets. It's great. The quiet hum, the process began. Sorry, I could hear the soft hiss of air leaving through my helmet. 
There was nothing to do until it was finished, but wait. Then, out of nowhere, Dio spoke up. I never thought I'd succeed so easily. What? Hello? Excuse you? It took me a moment to realize his voice was coming from the speaker in my helmet. Apparently, the radio was designed to activate automatically. You mean getting out of here? Ah, uh, you're thinking too small. Okay, I can save. Thank God! We love being able to save in a game. Hmm. I guess I can tell you who I really am. I knew it! You are a piece of shit, aren't you, Dio? What? You see, the thing is, I'm a hero. A hero? What a shit hero to have. Can we get a better hero over here quickly, please, God? Anyone else? I'll take Thanos as a hero over this piece of shit. I take Deadpool. Deadpool's great. I was sent here from far away to save mankind. Uh-huh. Yeah. When was the last time you took your medicine, Dio? What? Too surprised to speak? No, too dumbfounded that they couldn't get a better hero. Uh, Dio, I think maybe you should calm down a bit. Is this what shit people like? What? Crow, what are you on? Eat a Snickers, Dio. <laughs> Eat a Snickers bar. You're not you and you're not you when you're hungry. Yes. I love that tagline. I love that tagline so much. We were still going back and forth when the quiet hiss of air escaping slowed. Oh. And stopped. A door at the end of the room slowly ground open. Ooh, an open door. How do you know he didn't know? This is the result. <laughs> he needs to be unsnickered. We walked through to find ourselves in a nearly identical room. After two more decompressions, the last door finally opened. Oh, we're in the desert. I stepped out inside and gasped. A dark landscape like none ever I had seen lay spread out before me. I couldn't help but stare. <laughs> Round two of the donuts wishes luck. All the luck to ya! Woo! What? What the hell? Looks like a desert. Yeah. I can see that. The question is which desert? I don't know. Arizona? Nevada? All these games are in Nevada for some reason. I can tell you what day it is, though. New Year's. Huh? Look, the moon's red. See? This must be a total lunar eclipse. Oh, yeah. I remember you talking about that in the lounge. During a total lunar eclipse, the moon is entirely covered by the Earth's shadow. The same one as always, I guess. That doesn't mean the moon just disappears or turns black, though. It actually reflects light that's passed through the Earth's atmosphere, but this makes it appear to be red. Essentially, what's happening is that the moon is reflecting the sunset. That is kind of beautiful when you put it like that. Do you remember when the next total lunar eclipse was going to happen? Yeah, December 31st this year, so New Year's Eve. That's what the magazine said, at least. Hmm. So today is December 31st. Wait, shit. If I got grabbed on Christmas morning, that means I've been here for six days? Looks like it. I don't know. We know that there's some fucky wucky, like, like cryo sleeps going, going on. So maybe it's been longer. Like, when would the next, next one be? We should get to the nearest town. Love this. <laughs> I love this. Okay. And where would that be? There has to be one around somewhere. Yeah, that's true. Even deserts have some towns, whether they're in the Mojave, Sahara, or Gobi. It's not what I'm worried about, though. Oh, yeah. Where's Dio? What are you worried about? 
Girl, I love the fit so Vogue. It is. It's everything. Forget it. Doesn't matter right now. Oh, come on. Tell me. I'm curious now. Impossible as it might seem, I could have sworn I heard her frown. I'm worried about whether or not there are any survivors. Survivors? If Alice was right about the virus. Oh, yeah. Are you saying humankind might be extinct? What the hell? No way, that's impossible. A whole species can't just die out in six days, that's... I hope it's not the case, of course, but there's the possibility. Right, they're, they don't know about the cryosleep stuff in this, in this timeline. That's right. We know in the fact that from other timelines, cryosleep is involved. So the assumption that it's only been six days is... Um, I don't know. Someone put fire on the cover of the fashion magazine. Oh my god. Italian Vogue has called. They want their fucking uh, next, collection, uh, next collection out. Whatever. We should get moving. There are right. still four people stuck in there, including Quark. Oh, Quark. We need to find help and come back for them. Yeah. Okay. I turned to take a step. Oh. There was a rough crackle over the radio and the sound of someone falling. I turned back around to see Fi on the ground. Hey! Are you all right? What happened? I ran over and helped to lift her back up. Hello? Fi kind of looks like Yukina from Fairy Tale or Pink Balloon from Tinkerbell. Don't know either of those, but I am going to look them up later. I'm fucking stupid. Uh, Fi, you good? Did you faint? She fumbled for a second, then clambered back up to her feet. Where... Where are we? Hello? Hi, did you, did you just wake up? Hi, hello? You're outside. Her voice was low and rough. Huh? Girl, what? Mm, this timeline. Oh shit! She's jumping. She jumped. She's she's uh, points at her. She's jumping timelines. What? Okay, interesting. Uh-huh. Jumping. Yeah. So the main, so there's kind of a thing with this game where you can, uh, it's happened in the previous game where someone was able to gather information from like other timelines and use that information in their current timeline. It seems like here, not only is she gathering information from other timelines, she herself is coming into from other timelines to different timelines. Interesting. Where are you from, Fi? Timeline? She didn't respond. I was about to begin a more irritated line of questioning when she suddenly grabbed me by the shoulders. Hey, where's Dio? Fuck, where is he? Where's the piece of shit? D Dio? Oh yeah, I haven't seen him since we got out. I'm sure he was with us when we left. Shit, we need to split up and find him. Oh yes, let's kick his ass, please God. Why? Because he needs to tell me something. What? He needs to tell you something? We're going to take shots of lemon juice. Take a shot every time I insult Dio. You're going to be drunk by the end of the stream. I mean, why are we, what? What? Don't tell me you forgot. Wait, maybe not. He must not have made this jump. <sighs> she is jumping! Interesting! Oh, fascinating! She wasn't making any sense. Damn it. Look, forget about that. Ah. Uh, we rip a hole in our stomachs for drinking the whole junk thing. <laughs> 
Yes, let's find him. I'm going over to that hill. So you take the other direction. Okay. Uh, okay. But she had already taken off without waiting for my answer. I watched for I watched her for a minute, confused before turning and heading off to look for Dio myself. Damn. I don't see him anywhere. Where the hell did that guy go? I was looking around, trying to decide where to go next when I heard them. The signal must have been degraded, must have degraded, but I could still make out a few words. What the hell are you doing? That's Dio. Oh, oh. Her, their voices were cutting in and out, but I heard that last word clear as day. Dio. Sounded like Vi had found him. Girl, you better run! Fucking trek for it! I spun around and took off into her direction. Is that a transmitter? A transmitter? Transmitter. Let's see. Phone home, huh? Phone home. Bet free souls anxious from you. Free Free Soul? How do you know that? <laughs> I know everything about you. Oh! I know everything at Girl, who- What the fuck do you know, Fi? Having trouble finding the shot glasses? Does two <laughs> empty pill bottles work? As long as they're empty and clean. Be safe. <laughs> oh, you're the Myrmidons. Myrmidons? The transmission was getting clearer. I had to be getting closer. Never mind that. I need to ask you something. What's the password for the number zero- the number zero? The hell are you, man? I am no man. I am no man! How the hell can you crack jokes right now? You haven't given me my answer. What's the deactivation code? She's looking for bomb codes. That's what she's looking for. Oh, shit! Oh, interesting. We're getting a bomb code here. Oh, my God. Hey, what are you... Uh-oh. 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 Shit. Uh, that didn't sound good. I sped up and quickly crossed the hill in front of me. And there they were. She fell. Oh, shit! Stop! I went down the hill as fast as I could, half running, half sliding. Skill issue. <laughs> she did fall. She did. And now there is someone trying to slam a rock against her. With the suits on, I couldn't tell who was who, but I had to stop them. Whoa. And that's how Sigma died. The end. <sighs> no, no, he's just helping them. <laughs> I clambered to my feet, slightly winded from my or from my ordeal. The suited figure had slammed again. I had slammed against lay on the ground next to the other one. I moved over to peer through the visor. Ah, shit stain. Hello. His eyes were closed, almost like he was sleeping. My tackle must have knocked him out. Thanks. No problem. That was a close one. Extremely. No sweat. Uh, what's this transmitter you were talking about? You heard, huh? Of course we heard. Yeah. Well, it's right over there. See that briefcase-looking thing? He was trying to use that to get in touch with somebody. Dio died, please. Well, he's not dead yet. Give it time. Who is he getting in touch with? Where the hell did he get it? Probably had it hidden somewhere. Wait, hidden? Are you saying Dio's been here before? Yeah, probably. My guess is he came here, hit the transmitter, and then snuck into the building. Interesting. Interesting. We know from another timeline. I think the fuck... Actually, it might have been adjacent to this one. The Luna timeline. We know that Dio snuck in and killed the old woman. Or we know that he killed the old woman. And we know that he took her place in the game because of the bracelet. So, this kind of further confirms that Dio was not meant to be originally in this game. But also, how the fuck did 
But in that case, how the hell does uh, Junior know about Dio, but doesn't know about K? And who the hell is K anyway? Snuck in. I wasn't quite sure what to make of that, so I decided to take a closer look at the transmitter. There was a screen on the upper part with a bunch of numbers that looked like, well, nothing. What the heck is this? That's a number. Interesting. Interesting. How fascinating. 87153. Oh my god. 61098831942419. Oh, I'm running out of space. 9055. Fascinating. I don't know where we're going to need that, but that seems important. Is this some kind of phone number? That's a long ass phone number. I would hate to try to remember that kind of phone number. No, it's too long for that. It's 25 digits. Ah, oh, you love it when it's 25 digits. What is it then? I don't know. I assume it's some kind of code, but I don't see a key to decode it with. Hmm. I heard an odd crackling noise in my helmet. It took me a minute to realize. To, ugh, it took me a moment to realize it was a voice. Dio's voice. Ah, shit. Who let him wake up? Knock his ass out again. <laughs> I hate that he's voiced by Liam O'Brien. Because it makes me want to love him because I love Liam O'Brien. But I just hate him. I hate his gut so much. What's so funny? What? You can't find the key to decode it? Well, no shit. The key's right in front of your face. It's a key. Interesting. What? That's the key. The message is somewhere else. You need those 25 numbers to decode it. Beat his bitch ass. <laughs> Gladly. None of what he was uh, what he was saying made any sense to me. Dio, what's going on here? Who were you trying to call with this thing? What, you don't know? No. At least one of you is appropriately ignorant. Fine, whatever. Might as well tell you. I don't really have any reason to hide my identity now that my mission's a success. Yes, tell much how much I should really hate you. Besides, she'll probably tell you if I don't. She better. Might as well hear it straight from the horse's mouth. We got the lemon juice ready. Take a shot and get yourself drunk or absolutely ruined and soured. He shifted to put his hands behind his head, but didn't bother to get up. I hate him. I hate him so much. I belong to an organization called the Myrmidons. You've probably never heard of it. I like lemons. But there might be a few people out there who have heard of Free the Soul. If you haven't, well, it's a sacred religious order with a million true believers. The Myrmidons are a handful of Free the Soul. Or the hand of Free the Soul. We do what we need to be done to bring us closer to the new world Free the Soul promises. There are some people who might call us terrorists. Then again, from their point of view, I suppose we might be. We're trying to tear down the corrupt world that they built, after all. But when the sun dawns for the first time on our new world, we'll be hailed as saints. Holy messengers who cleanse the filth from a dying planet. Well, only a handful of people will really become saints. Not even all of the Myrmidons will be granted sainthood. First, you have to be raised with the teachings of Free the Soul from their birth. And then you have to be chosen to join the ranks of the elite and achieve great things. Returning from this mission would secure my position. Free the Soul is built around the teachings of a man named Brother, who founded our order many years ago. His teachings are too profound for ordinary people to understand, but you could say that the core ideas of his doctrine were to separate oneself from worldliness, to destroy greed, and divorce the soul from the body to cleanse it. 
Those who did follow his teachings with discipline and devotion will be reborn as a new form of human. Skull doing lime now. Lemon and lime. Fuck yes. Only in this new species will be able to live in equality. In a world without war or starvation. Brother was born into a poor family. I've been told that he didn't know his father and that he lost his, mo lost his mother at a young age. The only family he had was his younger brother, a boy named Left. They saw brother. They said brother had a special power and that he was able to touch the thoughts of other people and see into them. It left him consistently exposed to the filthy greed of mankind. When brother was 16, Left was found dead. His body was covered in bruises, but the police only made a cursory investigation and quickly ruled his death as a suicide. Later, brother would find out that the killer had paid the police a massive bribe to keep the truth hidden. Oh, boo-hoo! <laughs> he burned with rage, but also found himself immersed in cold despair. Finally, he received a divine revelation. Revelation. Mankind was thoroughly corrupted by greed. They had to be purified in a whole new world created. God had given brother his mission. That was when he began to teach others the truth. At the age of 26, he started Free the Soul. Once Free the Soul established, he devoted his, he devoted his research, uh, resources to research on human cloning so that he could create new species he foretold. He abducted, I mean, he invited to insist him a team of scientists from a research facility in the United States. And a year later, the first 10 humans were born. Lime juice tastes like essential oils, four out of 10. Those 10 were the first generation of Miramadons. Incidentally, I'm from the fourth generation. You're a clone of a clone of a, what? Our DNA, com our DNA comes from left, brother's younger brother. That means that we are all share a face and we are all given the same name left some people think that we are weird but individ individuality seems much weirder to me i love being an individual it's great too bad that you are such a fucking skank in this goddamn mission i hate him <laughs> is that why you're such a bitch dio yes because you come from the same goddamn dna if this makes you a bitch, then I would hate to have met Left. Hated to have met him. If everyone looks the same, there's no such thing as race or even individuality. Hate that. Being individuals is what makes us so unique. It's what makes humanity great. Why there's so many good things in this world. Taking that away from people, it just, it rips us to shreds. It does. With cloning, you don't even need different genders. Hate that. How could you get more equal than that? Still, there was a little random deviation and other factors can influence a clone's development. I was the best of my generation, so I was chosen to lead the Miramadons. I was probably sent here because brother noticed the caliber of my skills. Who names their kid left are the bad ones deemed right. <laughs> you know what? I believe that. I would totally believe that. It's like naming your kid Apple or something. Who the fuck would name their kid Apple? My mission was to infiltrate the facility. When I was given my orders, I thought this was going to be my chance. In all of my life, all I've ever been punished for, I've only ever been punished for breaking our laws. It had to do with women. I had come in contact with someone clean and I was considered corrupted. If even, when I, even if I was punished harshly and purified my soul, my dishonor remained. I wanted to prove my loyalty brother, to brother, so I was determined to be successful in this mission no matter what. There's a Guzman named Palmy, which is Apple in French, so, well, nobody's perfect. Um, my entire purpose is that this would be a part of the foundation of Brother's new world. Now that I fulfilled that purpose, for the first time in my life, I understand what true happiness is. Oh, holy father, holy brother, holy master, my sacred mission is at last complete. With these two hands, mankind is saved. I am your will made flesh. 
<laughs> In your name, I give thanks. His voice had taken an almost reverent tone. As he finished speaking, he made some sort of odd sign over his chest. Fly shoved his hand away. I don't care about your goddamn mission. You did this to us. Now we're going to... to... She grabbed the rock she'd, um, he had held only minutes ago and lifted it over her head. Um, Fi? Do it. Fucking kill him. What are you- Shut up! You still haven't answered my question. I'm going to ask you one more time. What is the password for the number zero bomb? We have never heard of a number zero bomb. That's bad. <laughs> that's not good. That's, that's not good. That's not good at all. More dying of laughter. B bomb? God damn it. Didn't I tell you to shut up? Oh, shit. Fi is pissed. Now, tell me. Shut up. I grew up and when I see you, I <laughs> She swung the rock down towards Dio's head. Wait! Okay, okay. Fine. Ah, you value your life. That's good to know. We'll use that against you later. It's not gonna do you any good, though. Let me make a second batch. Fuck yes! I completed my mission. What are you gonna do with a password at this point? Not your problem. Just give it to me. Otherwise... Don't test her. She'll fucking do it. She's insane. Fine. And what is it? No skin off my back. The password for the zero bomb is... L-X-A-Q-N-S-G-D-Q. Q-N-S-G-D-Q. L-E-X, L-X-A, Q-N-S, G-D-Q. Thank you. I know, I'm writing it down. <laughs> if I toss the rock off to the side. You heard that, right, Sigma? Huh? The password. I'm going to try my best to remember it, but I won't know if I manage to until after I make the jump. There's a chance I won't remember anything, so you need to memorize it. Just in case. Thank God we play a character who has like giga memory. Thank Got God. It. I had absolutely no idea what she was talking about, but I was beginning to understand that it was probably pretty important. Fucking sticky eyes. Sticky keys. Sticky keys. But he was lying. It's Dio after all. I would not be surprised, but also. He has a fear for his life, so he at least has something going for him, I guess. With that in my mind, I repeated the strange series of letters over and over in my head, doing my best to memorize them. Okay. We're done with you. Let's go. Go where? Not sure, but I think he does. Get up. I grabbed Dio's arm and hauled him to his feet. He jerked his arm away uh, petuliantly and began to walk. Petuliantly? Is there a city near here? Yeah. Well, not really a city, I guess. More like a shelter. Shelter? Some people who survived the disaster live there. Oh, great. Disaster? What disaster? Just shut up and follow me. You can see for yourself. I looked up. It must have been a clear night because there were more stars than I have ever seen before. I thought I could even see the band of the Milky Way. And in the middle of that field of stars shone the full moon. A giant red orb looming in the center of the sky. Had it always been so big? Oh boy! Oh my god! 
said, finally, all of my bitching of Dio has a full excuse. He's evil. <laughs> like, actually evil. I have to say, this is um not my favorite ending by a long shot, mainly because it's Dio. I fucking hate Dio. But also, like, finding out that he is a clone of just some religious dictator's brother, and he is, like, got this indoctrination of, like, full religious, like... I don't even know what to call it. It's just so, like, eerie to me, I guess. Evil. Yes, he is dastardly. Dastardly evil. And he is a shit stain that will never ever come off uh but yeah holy shit i do oh my god Fi jumping from whatever timeline she was from into this timeline to beat the shit out of dio for information oh my god i just i love Fi so much i love her so much she's such a great character and when she does badass shit like that it is amazing but it also Con confirms that A, she's a jumper too. B, that she expected us to jump and that we have the ability to jump. Uh, and C, Dio's a piece of shit, but we already knew that already. Um, yeah. <laughs> I just feel bad for everyone still in the bunker. Like, Clover's still in there. Uh, Temioji's still in there. Quark is still in there. K, poor K. K is just locked in that suit, and we still don't know how to get him out. It's so bad. It's it's so bad. Behind blue eyes is the achievement you get for completing Dio's ending. Whip de fucking do. Um, oh God, where do we go after this? We have two locks. We can't do anything with those. Um, and we've kind of gone through all of these. I want to save this line for later. So I'm thinking it's either going to be this line right here or this line right here. And I think we're going to have to figure that out. Um. Uh, well, we can at least pick which one. Do we vote for this uh, blue door or do we vote for this red door? What do we think? In this timeline, we, uh, th we both ally lines, the blue door. I'm kind of leaning towards the blue door too, honestly. Blue, sac bleu. I like blue. Blue is a great color. Hey, you're on this channel. Blue is great. I mean, looks at my icon. Like, blue is amazing here. You're not going to see me complain about that. Paige says blue, too. All right. Genesis is blue. All right. I guess we're going to go uh, to the blue door. Oh, my God. Whoa. Uh, BLR just crashed. <laughs> The first time I didn't go to the intro, it crashed on me. Uh, <laughs> sorry, caps lock. No, you're fine. Why do people want to suffer? Oh, uh, fucking A, man. I'm at this goddamn... I'm going to scream. If I get to this fucking intro one more time, I'm going to lose my shit. I'm going to lose my shit. Yeah, 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 whatever. Which button is it? Control? Perfect. Low chart. Get me the fuck over there. Yes. I swallowed. Thank you, Sigma, for swallowing. It really was appreciated. I, Alice and I will. Ooh. 
Oh, interesting. We're going through the blue door with K. Ooh, oh my God. Interesting. <laughs> Alice, K, the blue door. Right. Oh, hi, Alice. I'm so sorry you died in the last route, but I do miss your face. We should hurry. Hurry, indeed. We took off towards the door at a run. Paige is on the floor with her dog play fighting. The dog's winning. I glanced, over, I glanced back over my shoulder to see the others heading off to their respective doors. Fi, Dio, and Clover were headed towards the green door. Well, Tamiyoji carried Quark towards the red do door, followed by Luna. Two, one, one zero. zero. Chromatic doors closing. Wait, three doors? It appears they are all locked. Is this a dead end? <laughs> What's this thing over here? It looks like the thing next to the number nine door. Oh yeah, it is the same model. I never noticed that. Does that lever move? Only one way to find out. Find out have a donut. Fuck yeah. Ooh, the rec room. Well, that was easy enough. Well, that was easy. It only opened the door on the right. Then we are likely meant to go there. How do we get the other doors to open? I have no idea. There do not seem to be any other mechanisms which might cause them to unlock. I don't think that's really something we should be worrying about right now. We have a door that's open. We should go through it. That's fair. You are correct. There is little to be achieved by remaining here. Or where it is then. Or right, I guess. What is this place? The rec room, apparently. Oh, you didn't see it. The sign. <sighs> there was a plate on the door. It said rec room, as I recall. Short for recreation, one might assume. How ironic. I doubt recreation is foremost on any of our minds right now. I just remembered this room and there is a smile just across my face. We're not going to play it tonight, but oh my god, there's good shit in here. Okay, the pool and the darts I get, but... What's with the suits of armor? It's like a show! They're battling for your entertainment. It's like a gladiator uh, arena. Seems kind of weird. If you think the armor's weird, check that thing out. What? Ah! <laughs> oh my fucking god! Oh my god! I'd pay so much money for that. You have no idea. I would pay so much money for that. Yeah. I want to go on it. Oh my god. Oh. I see them in front of grocery stores all the time. You put a coin in and it kind of rocks around. It's great. You must have gone on one at least once when you were a kid. I have no memory of doing so, but it is possible. Oh my god. Kay, you need to get on it, please. Does this thing mean that we're kids here at some point? Oh, wait. Does this thing mean that there were kids here at some point? Oh, that's a, that's a good question. No, I don't think so. You know? I guess it's part of someone's collection. Hmm. That too, I guess. People collect a lot of weird stuff. That seems like an exceedingly odd thing to collect. I want to ride that. Uh, there's going to be a line at the ride now. Jeez. It looks fun. Well, this place has a lounge, some sleeping quarters, and now this rec room. It's like we're on some kind of luxury cruise liner. Now that you mention it, it does give the impression that people are supposed to stay here for an extended period of time. <laughs> they have a small but well-stocked infirmary. Anyone here would be able to treat at least minor injuries and illnesses. People lived here. So you think this room is to help people keep from going out of their minds with boredom? Well, yeah. Yes. Relaxation is important in an isolated environment. 
everything anybody needs to live without leaving. I guess they're planning to keep us on here for a while, huh? Well, that's not gonna happen. I agree. Let's just find those moon card things and get out of here. Ah! Oh, there's a door over there. Locked. Fuck. No good. Won't open. Uh, looks like it's locked up tight. In other words, the moon cards must be in this room somewhere. You better be. Right then, let's find them. Stick away out! Yeah! Uh, which we're going to do next time. <laughs> Cause we already did an escape room this stream, and I wanna save this for the next stream. Though I remember this room, and oh my god, am I so excited for it next time. Oh lordy. <laughs> Thank you all so much for coming along with me. Sorry that we could not play uh, Killer Frequency this week. I'm sorry it was having a shit show. But you know what? I don't think anyone here is going to complain with more VLR because honestly, it's a great game. <laughs> Bye, Neil. Thank you, thank you. Hope you uh, hope you have some enjoyment with your uh, your muffins. Muffins, oh my God, with your donuts. Holy shit, muffins on the brain. Thank you for Jagami for stopping by earlier. Bones for stopping by earlier. Uh, Skull and Page Town for making muff nuts. Thank you. Uh, Genesis for stopping by and chatting. Mystica for stopping by and chatting. Everybody who just wandered themselves in and lurked for a long time. You're always welcome here. <laughs> I, of course, stream uh, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, uh, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on Twitch. I upload the VOD the next day. If you're interested in updates, I usually post updates on my community page on YouTube, but I also have a Discord. So if you're interested in joining that, uh, please come join the family. <laughs> Thank you all so much for coming along with me, and I hope you have a wonderful night. Goodbye. Mwah!